Hey guys, in this video, I would like to talk to you about a new feature of C Sharp 9 named Top Level Statements. What you see here is a default console application that prints Hello World. Although the application only prints a single line of code, it consists of 12 lines. With Top Level Statements, we can get rid of all the ceremony and reduce the code to a single line. Let me show you how to do this. We can remove everything that comes before the right line and also everything after the right line. And now the only thing we need to do is place system before console.write line. And now if we run the application, we will see that hello world gets printed to the console with only a single line of code. Top level statements are the entry point of your application. If you have a main method and a top level statement, the top level statement will become the entry point. Let me show you by first reverting this to what it initially was. And let's add uh, from main to the message. And then let's add a new class that I will name uh, top level. And now if we paste the single line of code that we had before over here and add from top level to the message and then run the application again, you will see that hello world from top level gets printed. So the top level statement gets executed instead of the main method. You will also see in the build output that a warning gets locked and the message is the entry point of the program is global code, ignoring program.main entry point. Top level statements can access an array of strings named arcs just like the main method. Let me show you by printing that to the console. And now if we type arcs and run the application again, you see that an array of strings gets printed to the console. The same goes for returning an integer. Just like main methods, we can simply return an integer. So let's say we want to return one. Now, if we run the application again, we see that top level statements.exe exited with code one. Top level statements also support async expressions and it also allows us to return a task of type int. Let me show you by replacing return one with return await task from result one. And as you see, we are successfully able to do so. Keep in mind that only a single top level statement is allowed per application. If you use multiple, it will lead to an error. Let me show you by duplicating this one and pasting it in the program class. If we do so and try to run the application and let's change this to from main. And now let's run the application. You'll see that we get a build error and what we see is that only one compilation unit can have a top level statement. Top level statements can be useful for beginners who want to get their feet wet without being overwhelmed by a lot of boilerplate code. This lowers the entry level which might help with the adoption of C Sharp. If you ask me if I'm planning on using top level statements myself, Probably not. Although it hardly takes any time to convert the default entry point to a top level statement, it still takes some time. Since there is no added benefit to me, I do not find it worth the effort. What I would like though, is for top level statements to become the default for console applications. That would make it even more easy for beginners to start with C Sharp because they would not have to remove the default code 
before getting to use top level statements. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos on C Sharp 9, make sure to like the video and to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.